good evening. Hopefully everybody's enjoying their weekend. We, uh, we're working on some non-farm related projects, I guess, at least not crop related projects, fixing up our greenhouse and things like that. Although that'll be in another video. Today's video is uh, gonna be about molasses. So we are running our giveaway, gonna run it for about another week, giving away uh, either a two wheel or a four wheel or an adaptive ball lick tank, whatever, uh, <coughs> Whoever wins, they get to choose which one will which one they want. And uh, we uh, we picked up a, a two-inch pump the other day, so I got it covered here. We were supposed to get some rain. Uh, just your regular two-inch water pump. Uh, before, when we filled these totes, we actually used this little guy right here, and it would take about half an hour to fill a tote. Now we can fill a tote in about two and a half minutes. So we are definitely gearing up for. A season where molasses, again, is going to be beneficial. So we know producers are out right now and they are cutting hay. And while there is uh, spots of, of excellent quality hay, there's alfalfa, there's all sorts of things in it and all sorts of blooms. There are also spots that had severe winter kill and there are spots that are deficient in uh, <clears throat> in quality, I guess. So. Molasses can definitely help bridge that gap. So it really shines in a year where you start to feed things like straw or two and three year old hay. But even in a year where you're gonna feed this year's hay, if this year's hay, if you get it feed tested and it's a little deficient, you can, you can, uh, you can certainly still feed it and you can supplement with the molasses. You can supplement with the molasses in one of three ways. You can put it in a lick tank and try to get them to that two pounds per day consumption. If you start now with a lick tank, while the grass is still green, they will definitely get accustomed to it better. And uh, once we get into the feeding season, late fall, early winter, and then throughout the winter, instead of having that rush, they will be already used to the molasses and, uh, and you won't see a surge in consumption like you will if you start say in november the molasses lick tanks that we have they're four wheels that are good for about 100 head of cows and there's two wheels that are good for about 50 head of cows effectively 25 head per wheel a four wheel tank holds about a tote 2800 pounds of molasses a two wheel tank holds about a thousand pounds of molasses basically half a tote you can also bale dress. Bale dress was really popular last year. Actually, everything was. I shouldn't say just bale dressing was. We, we sold a ton of lick tanks, and we've already started to sell them uh, throughout this weekend. And people interested to pick them up next week even. Uh, so bale dressing. 10% of the bale weight, or 100 pounds per bale, which is effectively two five-gallon pails of molasses. Flip the bale on its flat side. Pour two pails on there. Weight whatever it takes. If you have uh, an older softcore bale or something, softcore baler, that molasses is going to run through in about three minutes. If you have a new super tight baler uh, baling behind a rotary combine or something, the molasses might, not, might not go through. That bale might be so hard that uh, you'll have to squeeze it with your bale grapple or something to get it to go in there or leave it for a long time. However, uh, there was bale injectors, there was uh, all sorts of ideas about it just pouring it on its flat side is often good enough um, you can pour it on its flat side uh, then throw it in your bale buster or you can throw it in your vertical mixer put in whatever amount you think is sufficient for your what pounds you're feeding that day mix it up that way as well the last way of course is mixing into grain we mix a lot of uh, a lot of the mill mix into all sorts of grain and uh, we just use our 358 mixer mill I climb up, I dump a pail in the top into basically a ton of grain, uh, let it mix around. It makes a really nice, really nice uh, feed. In fact, I think I have that here. So yeah, what you'll end up is something like this, where it virtually takes the dust out of the grain. And uh, it's uh, this is one pail per 1,700 and some pounds of, uh, of product. There's some uh, some uh, rumensin in here as well, or, or 3010 supplement, but a pail of molasses in here and uh, takes the dust down, adds some sweetness to the grain. People really like that. 
So the benefits of molasses, you can go onto our website, uh, bloomenterpriseslimited.com. We got links to Westway's page. We got these, uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, the breakdown, I guess, mineral, vitamin, mineral breakdown on what's in the different molasses Molasses we carry. Molasses. We have a 32% for cattle. We have a 28% for cattle. We have a 28% for sheep. We have a mill mix. It's kind of an all-purpose for, uh, I mean, you can put it into anything. Some guys put it in the chicken feed as well. Uh, very beneficial thing. You're going to see, uh, you're going to see all sorts of stuff. And in fact, I was hoping maybe to get reach out to some of the guys or some of the producers that used it last year, get some testimonials. We heard all sorts of things. We heard 20, 30, 40% savings on, on hay. Uh, 40% would be an extreme, but that was a number I did here. We, uh, we heard um, all sorts of benefits to calving season, uh, high conception rates, healthy calves, uh, bigger calves, more energetic calves. Uh, we heard reduction in calving problems. Uh, people didn't have to help calves suck. They, didn't, they had to pull uh, way less calves than they had to in the past. Uh, and that's and that's the benefits you're going to see from the molasses. You're going to see increased herd health. You're going to see increased feed efficiency, uh, feed consumption go down a little bit. Animals are just more content. They're more they're more full. So strongly recommend producers uh, consider getting your feed tested. Uh, know what you have and uh, give consider consider the molasses. So we've got some some videos on this channel about. The molasses we had the rep up here he did about a two hour meeting and uh so so that's on there too that one's a little bit fuzzy because i'm kind of a noob when it comes to filming things like that but uh it's on there anyways and also you can go to westway's website and check that out so i hope everybody's enjoying the weekend if uh if you're new to the channel Please like the, like like this uh, like this video, share it around to the some of the producers. If you know some cattle producers, uh, let them know about molasses and uh, and and that the, the fact that is it's an option and it's uh, it, it's a good one. Especially uh, the mole mix was was basically put together for northern Alberta this kind of a climate, so it's different than the molasses products say from 20 years ago. Different uh, as well from other types of molasses you may be able to get in the piece so definitely look into it uh hope everybody enjoys your weekend thanks for watching we'll see you all in the next one